Hi, this is Cognos Paul. Today we're going to be talking about a few new features that I've added to Cogbox. This is specifically in the premium edition or unlimited as it's called now. So let's take a look. The first thing I want to show off is the shortcuts menu. Right now it only has a link to Cogbox shortcuts, which is a folder that is automatically added to your My Contents. But what can we do with it? Well, every screen now has an add shortcut link at the top. And we can also go to, let's say, core. In the context menu for every folder, we now have an add Cogbox shortcut. So let's add that now. And we can see data. We can click on that and we go straight to that folder. But we also can add this for other things like New York, De uh, New York Police Department motor vehicle collisions. Let's click on that and we'll add it from here. Add shortcut. And look, even though it's a shortcut, it copied the description of the original object. So we can see that and we can very quickly edit or create a new report or a new dashboard or new data set directly from the shortcuts menu. Every object that you create a shortcut to has a list of options that you can uh, perform. So packages and data modules will let you create new reports and new dashboards. Packages won't let you edit it, of course, but you can uh, edit data modules. Uh, reports, let's try doing this to a report. We will try this one. Uh, we'll add Cogbox shortcut, go to here. Reports, we can edit or run. This does pay attention to your permissions. So if you don't have the permission to edit reports or create new dashboards, these buttons won't appear. So we can edit the report directly from here. No problem. Let's save that. And let's try a few more things. So we'll do create, uh, add Cogbox shortcut. And from this menu, we will do create a new dashboard. Create. Beautiful. And this will bring us to our next new feature that I've added. Let's very quickly create a visualization. I don't know, let's do a cross tab. And in the cross tab, we will add revenue as values. Uh, let's do order method as columns. And let's do product line as rows. Okay, so we have a very, very basic cross tab. Uh, it's frustrating that it hides the values. I should probably add a way to automatically expand the entire cross tab. That's frustrating, but whatever. It's not so important right now. Let's add another visualization. Let's add a line graph. And in here, we'll do revenue as well on the y-axis. And let's do from the time dimension, let's do this one. We'll do month on the y-axis. Okay, now, as you know, Cognos has a very nice capability where you can click on one graph and it will automatically filter another graph. That's lovely. I'll admit that. But I added a new feature, Viz as Tooltip. So we'll drag this widget in. We'll go to Properties. And we'll click the Viz Picker button. And let's pick Revenue by Month, month as the Viz Tooltip. And now we will exit Edit Mode. Hey, it disappeared. 
but whenever we hover over any object that returns a tooltip, it will automatically filter this line graph based on that. And we can see sales visit outdoor protection. And let's try fax and camping equipment. Beautiful. This does pay attention to embedded filters and filters at the top. Obviously, this won't work cross packages. So if you have a dashboard with two packages on it, it's not going to work with the viz from one package against another uh, viz from a different package. But that's, that's common sense. There are a few extra things I've added here. Let's take a look at the create export to image widget. So this will let us create, export any object that we have on the page as an image. Very simple. And we can do the same thing for here. So we'll click on that. Beautiful. All right, that's everything that I wanted to show you for today. There is one more thing. Since I loved the changes that I've made to the shortcuts menu as much as I did, this is invaluable to me. I decided to make the same changes to the recents menu. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you very much.